this before when the recession was biting first, so we were talking ourselves into it, and things start to pick up, and now we're talking mm. about this double dip thing again, yeah. everything stalling. Is it, can you see a way out of this? That's a completely different story. Time now, 27 minutes past six. Let's uh, catch up on the weather with Kirsty. With it. Well, you're always talking about me. Yeah, you got great legs. <laughs> I'm moving into the desk here. Hi. It's terrible, why? isn't it? One I know. easy way to stop the kids doing it, present them with the bill. <laughs> right, Richard and the Martyrs. <laughs> they miss a bus over that one, mate, I'll tell you. First, though, you could win enough money to eat out as often as you like. If you enter this week's competition, we're giving away a whopping £25,000. And if that wasn't enough, there's more. I think it wasn't until perhaps the last 24, 36 hours we realised the enormity of it. The mm. fact this is an area the size of England. Okay, James, so. thank you so thank much you. for joining us this morning. Exactly. That's not the only difference, probably. Quickly, your favourite dish, your favourite dish. <laughs> oh, it's and the one I love is Mark in Newport, <laughs> South Wales, says, send the bloke from the Go Compare ad. I go with that one, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go to space. I go with that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and Jamie Fretwell says, send David Cameron to the moon so we don't have to pay taxes. Not that simple, I'll wager. Inevitably, the politicians can't escape. Someone thinks David Cameron should be sent up there. I'm sure there'll be others uh, from, with a different political view as well. Let's find out what's happening uh, weather-wise now. Here's Kirsty.